another clockwork part had surfaced in India. So the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the Clockwork Wings, the symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you, especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sly Sundays. And as you guys can see, we started a new chapter now. If you want to, if you are wondering rather where the van is, this is where the van is today, or in this episode. With the drawbridge up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spire jump? What? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. So, they're still trying to teach you new things, but if you play through the previous Sly Cooper game, you pretty much know uh, the mechanics. Now you can take one of two roads. You can go this way, or... Oops. <laughs> or... As I was going to say, you can collect the two bottles over here. I'm going to do that in a later part though, so for right now I'm just going to continue as if there are no bottles. I'm going to try to do my best not to collect any of the bottles. So our objective is all the way over here. Now you can take many routes. You can go this, right, this way, you can go straight through, or you can go the long way around for whatever reason. I'm just going to go straight through just because that's probably going to be the fastest way for me to get from point A to point B. So. If, as you guys can notice, I mean, as you, as you guys may see, <laughs> uh, it's, it's really simple to navigate around this area. It's wide open, but it's more enclosed than the Paris one, and it's also taller. I can find a way. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Alright, so the way that you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to start all the way back here. Also, snake, go away, nobody likes you. Um, <laughs> and you're just supposed to go all the way along here on top of these branches. Now, it's so weird that the branches are coordinated in such a manner to let you just, you know, just go around like that. Then again, we are a super amazing parkour raccoon thief. So maybe that's it. <laughs> Alright, so now we have both heavy. of the wings there. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. Yeah, they will. I mean, it's in the middle of a freaking ballroom. And look at all of these guards. That's him. Rajat's really pulled out all the stops. Kind of looks like he's posing. With this party. The last one is the electronic winch. An electronic winch? That could be useful. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. John B. 
Sutton, a member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. <laughs> I, honestly, when I was little, I always saw that word and I thought it was bison because it's an animal bison. It's a nice little play on words. Another Claw Gang member. Our arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. That's the Contessa, a high ranky prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. Whoa. I mean, we kind of already knew that she was going to be gas because it kind of tells us on the side. As you guys can see, Nayla and Carmen Lee are the last two left. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. All right, so we just need to find Nayla, which apparently we don't really know that she's there because it doesn't tell us, even though she does tell us, which is weird. <laughs> it's kind of like the uh, Kingdom Hearts game, the 1.5 remix. You know what the rooms are called before you even go into them. Nayla, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house, and we'll start building a game plan. Sounds like a plan. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Okay. So basically Sly has to lower the drawbridge in order for all the other two characters. I said all of the other two. There's only two characters left. Anyways, let's go check what ThiefNet has to offer. And we get the combat dodge and the size destabilizer. Or the turnbuckle launch. I like the turnbuckle launch. I'm gonna use I'm gonna buy that right away. Um so let's start another mission as Sly. Let's hopefully we'll be able to lower the drawbridge now. So this should be Yes. Lower the drawbridge. Okay, let's do that one. Uh, so, there's also another way that you can actually go across the bridge, but they don't really talk about it that much. You literally just go this way. The only thing, though, is that it's a bit risky in that it holds bottles. So. Okay, there you go. Oh, wait, no, this heads to the treasure. I completely forgot about that. See, it's been, like, ten years since I played this game last, and, um, yeah, my mind is hazy, so... Forgive me, guys. Well, it's not. It hasn't been like ten years. It's been honestly like six, seven years, something like that. Um, basically, when this remake first came out, that's when I first bought the game. And uh, well, basically, when it first came out is when I first bought this game. That that's the only time I played it. And I played it for about a month at most, and then I got bored. You know, it was just to, I just bought it really just to reminisce, just to have a fun time and stuff. And uh, once I finished with that, I basically just uh, put the game aside and made way for other games to play. You know, like uh, like the Uncharted series. I was playing all of those. I was playing Infamous as well. I was, you know, I was playing like PlayStation exclusives. I was playing multiplayer games like Call of Duty and stuff. I was just playing a bunch of games, honestly. Not really, uh, not really caring for this game too much because I had already played it. If I hadn't already played it, I probably would have kept playing Sly Cooper. Uh, just because Sly Cooper is a really fun game series to get into. Can we make this jump? No, we can't. We suck at jumping, apparently. We can make this jump thing, so the, uh, little elephant guy should be able to make this. Yes. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, wait, that's the ballroom! Totally just realized that's the ballroom one. Hello, I'm here for the dance. Huh? Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. 
No tux, no entry. Sorry, Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. Now, that guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Awesome. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. <laughs> At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. There really Try does, the though. House. People Someone probably got drunk and stuff. Past. Oh man, I seriously didn't want to start this mission. This mission's long, that's why. That's literally the only reason I didn't really want to start this mission. If it wasn't for the length of the mission, yeah, I'd totally be down for starting this, but it's a really long mission, dude. At least we'll get some loot. You know, we'll get some loot, so we'll be able to buy, um, probably the size D stabilizer is the next one I'm gonna do, or get. Oh god, because I don't really want the combat dodge. Combat dodge isn't really for me. Although maybe I should try to get into using the combat dodge. Okay, Bentley. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Oh, well, I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. Yeah, I'm just gonna take out my uh, frustration. Attention, guards. <laughs> this is Lord Rajan. The party here is in full swing, and all visitors are now in the ballroom. Now, when this ball may have all the up and up, not all of the guests are. So be on careful look out for problems. I don't want any problems from this event. Have to go in here in order to avoid the uh the guards. Basically, it looks like I'm going to get into a big fight here. Well, I can't believe I managed to sneak by. Well, those guards are dumber than I thought. Although it would be much faster. You know, I should just take them on because it's going to be way faster just to fight these guys in a battle. Nope, you're not going to call anyone, dude. Nope. If I recall correctly, he's the one that uh, actually called, will call for more reinforcements. Whoa. And I just got lucky. Okay, that's not what I wanted to happen at all. Awesome. Somehow that's able to make him, uh... <laughs> That's able to lose him. You might need to use your stealth attack in here. Remember, the triangle button knocks guys up into the air, and the square button brings them down hard. Oh yeah, I know. Don't worry, dude. And uh, he he meant use the stealth attack for the rhino guy. Just uh, in case you guys are wondering what he meant, you want to use the stealth because the rhino guy Sly cannot take him on. He's it's too big. So, use it on the Rhino guy and just quickly take out this guy before he calls for reinforcements or whatever. Or what have you. Anyways, I really love just ransacking these places, but apparently, um, <laughs> I got lucky in the last room in that I, I was able to find the clothes very quickly. But apparently that's not the case here. I would have laughed if that was in the, uh, in the toilet for whatever reason. Or if it was in the sink or something. <laughs> It's probably gonna be like in a wardrobe somewhere. That's probably where it would be. But on the bright side, I'm causing massive damage. And it's not it's nothing I have to pay for, so it's worth it. How how weird would it be if this were actually like Carmelita's room or something? Oh, that'd be so awkward. Okay, seriously, where the hell is this thing? Uh, there has to be somewhere obvious that I'm not looking. Like that. Which was literally right there. Uh, now the thing, the one thing that I do appreciate about this mission is that it will, it will, uh, you know, have doors closed for the 
places you haven't been to yet and it will have doors open for the places that you have already been to so you can quickly just tell if you've been into a room like that for example if the door has been opened if the door still closed and you haven't been there yet I'm gonna save that room for last so it's gonna be a, a quicker exit so uh, I'm just quickly make my way and stealthily let me quickly and stealthily make my way over here don't care about you snake Okay, I could do the stealth move on this guy. Oh, and he has treasure too. I'm gonna take that as well. Silver ring. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, come on, dude. That's not even fair. I was fighting that dude. I had no chance against you right there. If you had taken me on in a fair situation, I would have kicked your ass, dude. I'm pretty sure that they're never gonna be in like the TV or something. Okay, it's not in there. Uh, perhaps this. Nope. Perhaps these. Nope. This one. Nope. Okay, maybe one of those two. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. So now that we have that, we can just go out outside of this room and continue on to the next piece. All right. Let's see. Can we make it to this room? Yeah, we can. And the last room after this one is going to be the one that's right in the middle. Now you guys see what I'm... Okay. It's basically, do you want to play smart and go after the big guy, or do you want to take out the little guys? I'd rather go for the big guy and take care of these two guys. Wait, can't the other guys even come in from the hallway? I love that little comical thing, that little noise that happens when you, when you beat uh, enemies. Reminds me of the uh, Batman from uh, like the 70s Batman. I think it was like the 70s Batman and awesome. We already found the gloves. So we are out of here. Sweetness. It's so weird that there are, there's literally one piece of cloth, uh, one piece of clothing rather per room. It's literally one piece of clothing per room. So you have to visit five this different rooms. Stay sharp. He's probably got extra security. Ooh, snap. Okay, so I'm gonna play this smart. And uh, by playing it smart, I mean I'm literally gonna be an idiot and just try to... I could, I could just climb this, can I? No, I don't think I can. Uh, okay, how am I going to make it across the bridge? Can I just double jump? Looks like I can't. There's... Yeah, I can just double jump. Awesome. So I'm just gonna pick your pocket if you don't mind and then just kill you very quickly and then just begin to get my anger out that's it now that you've got a complete tuxedo the doorman will let you into the ballroom awesome job completed by sly all righty so I'm going to end the episode with that. We're going at 18 minutes. It's probably the longest Sly video that I've made in a while. Uh, just because I make like a long mission for one video or two short missions in one video, basically. That's like the uh, general guideline that I go for. So if I'm not able to meet that guideline, it's either a really short video or a really long video. So you guys might have... Uh... Well, then again, for the short videos, I just add something extra like the uh, clues or something like that, you know? Or, or running the art pieces from wherever they are back to the base so it's all it's all conjecture honestly anyways i will see you guys in the next episode of sly sundays thank you guys for watching take care and helicopter behind me see you guys later goodbye sirs